What is the, it's like something changed and I cannot see this stuff. I don't know what this, let me put this on pause. And I just put it over there and grabbed a little money and jumped right back out. Yeah, but uh, so I had pulled up, well, they got an article that they, um, a few people downgraded them to, to neutral, but then a few, a few investors upgraded them to buy, so. It's, they, they, I guess they got a contract uh, with the post office that they waiting on that was supposed to happen this week that right. got pushed back. Uh, it got, they, they said they held it off because of politics. They didn't want the administration using it because he likes uh, Lord, what is that? Lord House? Lord, 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 Lord uh, cause he, he just texted me back and said he at the dealership. <laughs> oh. So he he must have he must have did some. He had a he, I guess he had a Dodge Viper. He trying to sell it. <laughs> talk to him today. I just texted him. Okay, I thought you talked. Yeah. No, nah, he texts me. Uh, Tony probably texts me like three or four days a week. Yeah, he said he at the dealership selling his Viper. Uh, so I guess hey. he, he about to upgrade or do something. No, them all them damn uh highly on stocks and beating him up. <laughs> <laughs> he be selling his house next, Jerry. Trying to say, keep up. You say he got four hundred thousand shares of Nicola. <laughs> oh no. Oh uh, when he when he was over there, he was uh, when he was in Nicola, he was in Nicola. He was. When he committed, yeah. he committed. Yeah, say. he was not playing around. He told me, say, man, I he, it was like I was talking to him. It was like he was getting mad at me because he did this. Because <laughs> like, you, he said, Delos, you know, I got $34,000 over there. I said, well, damn. I was like, how, how all that money crossed the road? Because you weren't even supposed to be on that side of the street. All right, I'm going to get started, y'all. Hey, I had a, um, so last week, uh, I'm going to pick up what I was going to do, right? So, um, I, I finally have had the luxury of, so everybody, when you go use the app and you go, say you, you're gonna buy a put, right? Or sell a put, sorry. And that number 10 pops up on there, it's like pre, pre-set at 10. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Has anybody did the math on that number? Cause, I, cause what I had, I, I realized, why is that number pre-set at 10? Like why do they want you to buy 10 contracts right out the gate? So then I did a little, I did a little test and I gave, uh, Dennis was over here not too long ago. I put it on the index card for him. Like I say, I got uh, indoor index cards are on sale at a uh, Dollar Tree for 99 cents. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that. So I was like, uh, and I've been studying that, right? So I've been trying to go a little deeper into, into just some little simple things. So I, I ran the numbers on it, right? And so for the last three weeks, and I apologize for the last couple weeks because I, Gerald was supposed to get on and, and uh, lead you guys to victory, uh, but he did uh, uh, Andy Dalton and threw a couple of interceptions. He didn't open up the bridge. So, uh, yeah. So, and, and, um, and going forward, if I can't make it, I'll try to let you know the day before I had a, project going on in my job where I couldn't get off in time. So with that being said, I have been doing just some just some level setting and some studying off onto my own. So does anybody know why that number 10, you, you know, that, that number 10 pops up, it's preset at 10. So I started doing the math on 10. And so I said to myself, um, anybody that's got Say UAL, we, I had pulled it up because I wanted to show you. Hold on, let me screen share. I pulled it up because I want to show you all this. Can you all see that? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right. So if anybody got their calculators right, so this, this 10 number keeps popping up. And so I was thinking, okay, uh, that's workhorse over there. So I was, I was looking at, so I'm trying to match the volatility with that number 10. And so, let me see if I can, I'm gonna look at my phone right quick. 
because what I found out was kind of kind of cool. So I, I said, let me share this with everybody. Uh, come on now. Uh, okay. So if you look at the volatility, when you know, like workhorse volatility was like 150 and uh, when the cola was ramping up, the volatility was like way high, right? It was just like, like sky high, over 100, over 100 percent. So this class that I've been taking on bar chart, the guy kept speaking about the volatility um, that when the volatility is really, really high like that. We all know that they, they could possibly pose a, a trap. Like it's, the volatility is so high that purchasing a, that stock may set you up to get trapped because that's, that's what volatility does. It drives, it drives the attention of, of all option traders. And so when the volatility starts to go down, you kind of get trapped in that, in that price. And so it happens all the time. I don't care how, how, um, how seasoned you are. It'll happen to me because, you know, I, I'm human, right? We, we, we're going to make those same decisions. So I was looking at UAL as an example. And so the volatility for UAL, I don't know if you are, I'm sure you all haven't been watching it, but the volatility for UAL has been in between 30 and 60 for the last two months. So I was like, I'm making reference to this number 10 that's preloaded on your phone. So with the volatility being around 50 in between 35 and, and 60, the, if you, you'll notice the price, if you go back and look at the price, the price of UAL hasn't really moved a tremendous amount either, uh, down or up. It's just been going sideways. And so these are some of the things in the class they kind of tell you to kind of look for. So as I, as I started watching it, I had to try it, right? So I wanted to get, I wanted to utilize that number 10. And so if anybody have a sheet of paper, um, just utilizing, and I think I got it, I got it at 35, at, at, the, at the 35 strike price. So if you take the 35 strike price, and you multiply that times uh, 1,000 shares, right? You're looking at $34,000, $35,000, roughly. So you take the $35,000, and that's your, that's your all-in investment, $35,000. Volatility is in between 30 and 60. It's not nothing crazy. It's not high. It's not 80. It's not 90. It's not over 100. It's right in that sweet spot, that in between that 30 and 60, volatility, right? The price is not all choppy and jumpy and moving four or five dollars in each direction. It's kind of just going sideways. So I know a lot of us on the on the call and we we say, well, I want to and, and most of us probably got 10, 15, 20, 35 thousand dollars invested. Um with with what I've with what I figured out that I've been doing this last month is if you if you if the $35,000 um, is derived by the 10 shares that, that's already pre-populated on your phone. So when you look at the volatility, uh, let me look at this is, uh, let me do, okay. Uh, October 30th. All right, and so the guy also made reference to any any uh, premium over a hundred bucks. So as you can see, like I said, I got it at thirty five. If you take the ten that is pre populated, and you do sell a put contract, if you can grab a hundred dollars or more every week, and so you can see even on the put side. You, you, you're anywhere from 83 to 100. Last week, 
Well, the last past month, it's been it's been anywhere from eighty five to one hundred and thirty dollars is what they were paying, and in the in the in the volatility has been relatively in the medium. So what a lot of people in this class is doing, and they was typing, they was typing him things for him to read off. They are taking, they are taking the 10 shares, the, the, the 10 contracts, they're, they're leveraging the $35,000, but they're guaranteeing themselves $4,000 a month. Mm. Because this number is always been, it's always gonna be either 100 or above. And UAL has been trading sideways for the last two months. So Are you pointing to a certain book. Well, I'm, I'm not following you if you're on the chart. Oh, my bad. Uh, <clears throat> I was on the chart. Sorry. Can y'all see that now? Yeah. Yes. All right, cool. I was sitting there talking. Everybody was looking like they were seeing something. <laughs> I've been over here asking. I'm you know, fine. What you yeah. talking about? <laughs> right. Sabrina looked like she was at the drive in. I, 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 I'm like, my eyesight is bad. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, so what I, what I wanted to do, and this this was they were talking about just simplifying simplifying your trades, right? Like getting back, and I and I thought it was good because a lot of people were saying they just need to get back to what they learned, wh wherever they learned it from, but just get back to the basics because there's so many things out there. It's like chasing a squirrel. You you'll be in fifty thousand different directions when you could just focus on just the small stuff. So I'll give you the same example with play. And, and, I, and I kept wondering, like, why is this thing preloaded to the number 10? And I never really cared because I, I only did what I, I had cash to do. So it didn't, it didn't I mean, it didn't um, affect me too much because I didn't have, in the beginning, I didn't have the cash to buy a thousand shares. But let me, sh let me show you this. And I'm and I used all the ones that I know everybody is in as an example. So again, you might not get the hundred dollars, but who is who is in play, Gerald? Okay, Sabrina, you 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 no. just you just doing okay, and uh, Brian don't have no money, so. Uh, <laughs> Brian on a Brian on a Brian done took our damn call and turned it into a cooking show. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, literally trying to get me. some endorsements. Hey, right. hey, but this is the best place to cook, man. You got all these investors on the call. That's right. Yeah, yeah, gotta, you, yeah next week go drive, just drive by everybody's house and drop some bread off. Right. <laughs> so these funeral homes, I'll be all right. Yep. So what I want you all to do, though, is get in the habit of saying, hey, can I, the, if you utilize the number 10, that like with UAL, you almost guarantee yourself $4,000 a month. These are just some of the simple things that the guy talked about. Like he just kept going over it and over it and over it again. Because I know Gerald and Jeanette may have, they may have eight or nine shares, but basically with, the, with those thousand shares, even at number 10, should bring you roughly five hundred and fifty dollars, or if you if you're on the put side, seven hundred dollars. That's that's every week. So you you can still utilize these like with a smaller account because now this is only a sixteen thousand dollar all in investment. So for sixteen thousand dollars a month, you even if you did the medium in between the two numbers, say say. We'll take this 55 as an example. That's $550 every week. So I'm going to take $16,000 to collect $550 a week. 550 times four is $2,200. So with a $16,000 investment, you can collect $2,200. And you take some of the you take some of the uh, the risk out of making bad decisions off the table because you can just stick with a company like this. You can stick with Play. You can stick with UAL. Um, um, and and these volatilities for these two that I just showed, they not they not extremely high. They they in the middle. Now Workhorse on the on the other hand, if anybody go to their phone, pull up Workhorse and look at the volatility, you will see exactly what I'm saying. 
and that's and that's when you know when that volatility is that high that's that's a kind of you might want to be careful before you move on that if anybody did take your phone and look at the volatility on the options chart for workhorse compared to ual compared to play you will know exactly what i'm saying i'm gonna do it myself Tomorrow, tomorrow is Friday and workhorse, workhorse volatility is still over 100. Hmm. Next week, their volatility is 119. The week after that, it's 121. The week after that is 129. But if you go to UAL, it's going to be half of that. Hmm. That stock is not going to move a whole lot. So if you wanted to go in and do 10 contracts, you can very well set yourself up just with that initial investment to collect at least four thousand dollars a month. Wow! And you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to. Uh, you know, be too smart to do that. That's just some pretty simple math. Like, I need. I got ten contracts. All I need to do is collect a hundred hundred dollars per contract per week. That's a thousand dollars a week times four weeks. That's four grand a month. And and the reason why I say that again is, and I know sometimes Gerald don't like when I bring this up, but I, I wanted to use this whole time to get everybody back to back to thinking, back to getting your thinking back to kind of where it, uh, what we kind of started out at. So I'm gonna bring this word document up. Come on, where are you? Uh, I think it's loading. Hold on one second. As soon as it loads, I should have had it up. Sorry. But anybody can take a sixteen thousand dollar investment with with play, and and do the same thing. And that number ten is significant, is because even if you took play and doubled it, you still less less invested as you would be in a UAL. UAL will cost you about 35,000 for 100 for for 1,000 shares, 35,000, sorry. And uh at $16 for play, you'll be at $32,000 investment. So, this might be the first time most of you are seeing this. I know Gerald and Jeanette have seen this already. Uh Dana, Angela, have you all seen this before? Am I, um, am I sharing it? Hold on. Yeah, yeah you can document. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay. I've seen, I've seen an example for a rental property. Okay. All right. And so the reason why I wanted to, I wanted to get everybody in that mind frame, and so that you don't panic, right? Somebody says invest sixteen thousand dollars in something, and you go, uh, I don't think so. Somebody say, hey, invest thirty five thousand dollars in something, you go, I don't think so. But we do it all the time. We just don't know that we're doing it. So like when we buy this house, right? So this is, and I shared this with Gerald and Jeanette, everybody that was uh, initially on the, the first five, the starting five is what I like to call them. Basically, we I'll just read through this real quick and I'll email this out so everybody have it. I won't go over it again, but I'm just trying to get everybody's mind snapped back to what you are capable of doing without getting too risky at all. So as an example, if you have a rental property, right? And I, I just made, I just put this together for the group when we first started. Let's say a rental property costs you $50,000 a year. I mean, a $50,000 house, right? You got a 30 year loan. Everybody know this is pretty basic. You know, this is how we buy homes in America type of thing. So you put 10% down, that's gonna cost you about 5,000. Everybody agree with me that far? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Your maintenance per year, let's say it's $2,500 a year, your maintenance. Let's say your monthly insurance package, taxes and mortgage payments, let's say that's about $650 all in every month, right? This is all money that's going out. None of this money is coming in. Your monthly premium received from your tenant, let's say it's 700 bucks. Say you, say you got a $50,000 house with a good paying tenant, every month he's gonna pay you $700. Your profit per month, 
the difference between what you what you're charging them and what you owe the bank, you're probably gonna profit about $150 a month. But let's go back to the top. This is what you risked. This is what you this is what you risk to receive one hundred and fifty dollars. Right, right. Does everybody agree with that? Like that is yeah. that is a real is this a, is this real to people like most people that have rented homes or the home you probably currently living in? This is probably the scenario, right? Right. So your yearly profit for twelve months of your time. This is all you're going to take home. About seven hundred bucks, all in. After you pay all your expenses, after you do all of that, right? So, let's just talk about options. Let's just say we got, let's say play, for example. So we're going to take a instead of fourteen thousand dollar investment, we'll do a sixteen thousand dollar investment, all in. Now I just showed you ten contracts of play, even on the low end at fifty five dollars per one hundred shares per week will bring you $550. 550 times four is 2,200 bucks a month. The good thing is though, I had used Roco in my initial uh, conversation with the team about this, but you have no $5,000 down payment. It's all included in your initial, your initial uh, all in price. You have no monthly or yearly maintenance on this. You have no mortgage insurance or any payments to anybody. You're the recipient of the payments. Your monthly premium is based completely on the volatility in the market at the time. Does anybody understand the difference between the two? Just by yes or no. Yes. So with that being said, if I take you back to, I'll leave that up. Uh, let me move you all over here. And share that screen. Okay. Now, does anybody say, which investment would you make after seeing what I just showed you on that on that Word document. Do you feel comfortable taking $16,000 start next week? Make your make your make your presence known, get hop in the market, get your 10 shares and just collect on it every week. You don't have to run from it and we all know prices will go down, they'll come back, they'll go down, they'll come back. But no matter what they do, you still get paid. Unlike a house, if a person don't pay you, then you got to come out of your pocket to make sure that the bank get, get, their, get their money so that you don't go into default. So no matter what the market does, you still collect. You're still going to collect. And, and sometimes we'll, we'll let our mind tell us we need more. Of, we need more. More is good. More is good safely, though. More is not good in an aggressive manner where you just just rushing to go and just make a move on something, it's good, but aggressively slow. Like, just think it through. It's play. Um, so I, I have my list here, and I've said this on a couple calls, that you, you can really do a whole lot of wrong if you, if you uh, invest in Dow stocks or the stocks that are in the S&P 500. Workhorse is in neither. The cola is in neither. Uh, plug is in neither. Uh, a lot of the ones that you know we've been investing in are not in in any of those uh, those any any of those markets. So, like I said, I keep a list of the S and P five hundred. And then I keep a list of the Dow. And I just got this on my clipboard because when I need to make a decision, because all this is just money management. And so if you can just get back to the basics and say, okay, I don't need two shares of a stock that's at, say, $6,900. I don't need, you know, five shares of a stock that's over here at, you know, um, you know, $100 a share or $50 a share. 
I can really just focus on one company or two or three or four companies and just gradually work them. No matter what they do, don't run like this. Well, you heard Donald Trump talk about it, right? He'll tell you, you know, it's it was just COVID and then the stock market. Like he he'll make reference to the stock market all the time because it's basically the heartbeat of America. So you don't have to run. You just got to strategize, put yourself in position. Like I think Gerald and Jeanette, and I'll keep picking on them because I think though they are almost, I think they almost got 10 shares of play or close to it. Eight. Eight, yeah, you only need two more. But have you, how, how have you been doing with those eight? Um, we're, we're right at where it's trading. I think the market was bleeding today. Everything was red on my phone except play, believe it or not. <coughs> and it, it's like, it's at like 16 something. And uh, per my cost basis, I, I moved it down to 17. So who knows what happens tomorrow? I may get it back. Okay. And so I'm glad you brought up cost basis, Drew, because after you've collected so much premium, you don't have to be as safe anymore. So you you can you can allow yourself to to get a little closer, get get more premium, and I, I and I don't blame you all for doing it, but you have to know where your cost basis is in order to make a better decision for yourself. But you know what? At the same time, Delo, I'm feeling some kind of way because it's like they've tied my money up over there so long. I know what my cost basis is but I don't want to give it back to them without, you know, reaping some benefits. And I want to, yeah. I want to, I want to get the uh, contracts back so I can get my capital out of there. But there's a balance at the same time because I don't want to break even. Y'all right. got, y'all got, you got to pay me something. Right. For, 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 for holding my money. And get back mm -hmm. to what we're doing. So it's, it's a, it's a little balance there that I'm navigating. Yeah. And, and and what's crazy is this second wave of COVID is pretty much just knocked things back down. But um, uh, Dana and I was texting back and forth about Apple. And so um, Dana made a play on Apple where she did a leap. And I believe it kind of worked out for Dana. And, and I wanted her to kind of like share a little bit of that because she – Dana is, is studious just like Sabrina and uh Carmisha. And she and she'll she'll have she'll throw things at me and I'll have to really go look at them and not just answer her text, but actually go take the time, look at it, see if it's something legit. But she's throwing some good stuff out there. I mean, so has Sabrina and, and any everybody on the call. I just I just want everybody to kind of get back to just collecting your cash. Like don't get too fancy. If the stock is not on the S&P 500 or the Dow, it's a reason for that. Like, don't, you know, it's kind of like buying a brand new car out of somebody's driveway. You might not want to take that out of town in the first month of having it. You know what I mean? Cause it, it I, you know, when you, when you, when you, when you go buy things, you want to get them from a reliable source and you want to invest your money in a reliable source. So, don't invest in a lot of companies that so that volatility when it's high like that, that's a trap. Can you show me where you're looking? Because there's a volatility percentage, right? Implied volatility percentile, and then there's the volatility. I wanted to see specifically where you were looking. Okay, on the on the app on the phone? Mm, yeah, either or. I, I just, just want to make sure I'm looking at the right number because the percentile just tells you how many times it's been higher or lower than where it's currently, right? Over there history of the stock. So I was trying to understand between IV percentile and IV. So the implied volatility will be like, you're right. So the, 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 the IV percentage is the percentage that it has been up or down. Right. But, but the IV is the implied where it's currently. Where so it you're is. just seeing that on the main page of the stock? Uh, on the if, on the app, if so, if you go to any one of your uh, Sabrina, if you go to any like any one of your ticker symbols, yeah, I don't know how you got your phone set up, but it should be right across from the date. Okay, so if you open up the app, it should be there right across from the date. So, do I? 
From the weekly options date, you're saying? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go in on the desktop, sorry. It's easier okay. for me. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking at the dates. There are the dates. I just see like the weekly option change dates, but I'm not seeing the percentile. Yeah, and on and see, I'm on the I'm on the uh, web version too, and it's not on here. I think you have to add it. If you I may have to add it. You're saying? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know what? I see implied volatility all the way over to the right. Uh, hold on. Let me on the desktop app. Uh, let me get to it. Are you talking about? that percentage that's right before the first strike price when you're looking at an options chain yeah but mine is all the way to the right and when i hover over it it says implied volatility i got implied volunteer from my gear from the sprocket yeah mine's not there's a percentage that's directly to the right of the um that's a mobile the date on the mobile yeah, yeah. And then yeah. above that, you're able to select the columns that you're looking at, like implied volatility, last, and so forth. So, yeah. And if you and if you look at if you look up there, it like I'm looking at UAL. Right. It has For which week? Uh, from I'm looking at it from the app, Sabrina. Which week are you looking at? Um, actually, I'm just looking at the overall. It, it's seventy. Oh. It says seventy-two point seven six percent overall. Which ticker? Symbol. UAL. Uh, UAL. Okay, let me go there. Yeah. 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 What's the volatility? Yeah. So the volatility for the sixteen fifty six point ninety two percent. Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's I see that I see that on the desktop, and then for the twenty third, I see fifty nine point nine. Is that what you see in it? Yeah, and that's what I and that's what I use. So if you go to workhorse, if you if you go to workhorse, you'll see workhorse is double that amount. Yeah, one hundred three and one twenty. Yeah. And so when you when you have that high volatility, right? We all know they pay them good premiums, but that also means that the price swing yeah. is going to be right. probably out of your comfort level. Mm -hmm. You're going to go four or five dollars in one direction or another. So we we want to want to find some good companies, but get that keep that keep that implied volatility percentage in between thirty and sixty. Got it. Okay. When it's like when it's as high as workhorse, okay, good. It's not a bad investment, but expect to maybe own those shares. It could move up. It could, you know, it could move up. But the, it, when it's over a hundred, that's kind of like in the no-no zone. Some of those you look at that twenty five. But it's, but it's not a, it's not a, it's not a bad investment. But you want to be in between that thirty and sixty. Finish job, I'm gonna have it. <laughs> I know way up there in 116. They don't move nothing. Yeah, but, um, I know. Let me see. Hey, hey, what are they paying, Gerald? Hold on. I know. That's crazy. And they normally don't pay nothing. <laughs> Not that I'm in it, but I just know some people that's stuck in it. Yeah. I'm not yeah. Man, I'm surprised so, to see it, it, see it that high. Yeah. Because it don't move. Because it's a it's a it's a twelve dollar stock that's paying fifty five dollars a, a contract. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. For yeah. for this for for the second week. Yeah. Yeah. You know we use the home and uh, yeah. Let me go ask him to meet. Hold on. Now, um. Anybody that's invested in Apple, just hold on to it because uh doing that. Yeah, and, and Apple pays a dividend too. They just recently paid it. Uh, but if you look at look at, at look at Apple's volatility, and you'll start seeing reference to stuff that I say it's gonna just trade, it's not really, it's not gonna be real explosive. You may yeah, get some I checked. Apple is only like forty something percent next week. Right, and and yeah. it's that's and that's that sweet spot where you yeah. can go in and go, okay, I'm I'm good here. 
Mm. Good, good company, good volatility. And the volatility will rise, though, mm. as they get to an earnings report. We all know that. And, right. so, and once you and once you get the company picked out, you get the earnings dates on your calendar. Jeanette had put together that spreadsheet. I, I, I use it every day. But if you got the volatility, the earnings dates, a good company, you can you can sleep you can sleep a little easier at night. When you when you're in stuff like I and O, plug, cause cause the thing is, all those electrical uh, companies, or is you know it's a boom now. It's a, it's electric boom. Everybody's you know trying to get in it. You just want to make sure you hit the right one, cause I think there's like eleven out there total. Hey, so Dale, uh, jump in and get a little more clarity right here, because to me this is um, I mean going to Apple. And seeing that the volatility at at next week, October the twenty third, is at forty two percent. That volatility means it's not a lot of people in there, correct? It's not a lot of contracts moving. Or uh, am I understanding? Nope. Slide slide over and look at your open interest. Okay, so okay, I'm getting okay. Okay, so so that well, we got the contracts then. So why does that feel like it's is opposing each other because I'm looking. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking the volatility percent. The higher it is, the more volatile this particular ticker symbol is. Um, if, am I off with that thinking? Uh, nope. So what happened? What happened with this particular stock drill is it's split. So. All of those contracts that you see in there double because I mean quadruple because they had to do four for one. Okay, that is so right. yeah. So th this one here is kind of different. So when you see, you know, ten thousand open interests and all of that, that may not have been that high just last month. It it, it would have been different. They but be, you 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 seeing a number that had to be multiplied by four. Okay. But and so but, it'll start leveling, it'll start leveling out. Like um, Apple's, oh, now that I now that I was I've been part of one of their splits, I can look at that and say the evaluation for Apple is still one twenty one times four, which put them at almost a five hundred dollar per share stock, or that's where it would have been if it was still if it hadn't split. Apple would be almost pushing the five hundred dollar per share mark. Based on based on the current strike price that it is right now, and so I have to I have to keep that in the back of my head that Apple may linger around that 120 price for a while because in reality it's really close to 500 dollars if you take if you multiply that that 120 106 times four and go okay is Apple a 500 dollar share of stock because basically that's what it, that's what the, these open interest contracts and all that is showing us. Now, I'm in Nike as well, but Nike, I'm looking, they're like 25, 26% for right. two weeks out. So is that below where we want to go in? Is that too low? I, I mean, say, you said 30 to 60. Right. thirty. So 30 to 60 is the sweet spot. And so I would suggest that if Nike, if Nike has got a, um, did they just come out of an earnings report? Did no, they, they got they have a report due. Let me look at that date. I have it. Well, no, I don't. I had it. They don't they don't have one coming up in this month. It's not did they, this month. Did, did Nike just come out of a dividend payment? That could be. Let me check that. I'm looking too. Looking at the calendar. Uh calendar says. Well, no, nah, they they paid. Well, they got they, a report in December, and earnings was on September twenty second, the last one. September twenty second. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So about three, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Yeah, Almost. three weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, four weeks ago. Yeah. So let me see. And the earnings was August twenty eighth. Yep. And so if you if you go in and look at I mean at the it, dividend was August 28, sorry. August 28, yeah, that was the extra effective date. Mm -hmm. But if you go in there, that dollar amount, that dollar amount is still over that hundred. I mean, for me, Nike is a good company. 
So no, I, I I've done well with them, but I was just noticing the percentage was a little low. I wanted to see if there was anything I need to be aware of with them as well. But yeah, they've been pretty stable. They don't move a lot. Like you said, the, the price doesn't fluctuate a lot. I think like today it only moved a dollar and forty cents or something. Yeah. And it and, and when the volatility is low like that, it's not gonna move a whole lot. But yeah. it could be it could be it could be a time to go in and maybe do your put contracts knowing that it's not gonna move a whole whole lot. It's then actually, you know, what, what is that? Twenty 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 five. Yeah, it it is it's lower than it's lower than the recommended the recommended yeah, amount. Yeah. But as you go down in the months, you can yeah. see it's coming back. It's it's, yeah. it's it's going back to 30, so. In November. Right. And a lot of times, you'll see guys on these calls, they'll say, hey, you wonder in your mind, like, why did they why did they go out 30 days and put a put contract? Because mm -hmm. you're so used to wanting to get your weekly money. And you'll, yeah. you'll hear a guy clearly say, yeah, I got, I got a, I put a contract out there two months out for a dollar fifty. That's just 150 bucks. But he's right. not going to get He's gonna get the 150 up front, but the contract don't expire for 60 days. You ask yourself, like, why did he? Why did he I do that? Money that long, right? right. It could be, hey, the volatility is 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 set. I'll go out and grab it at that time. But they may be doing more than one contract too. I'm I'm assuming that most people from the from the the class that I was in, most of those people was texting that instructor, and they're doing 10 and 20 and 30 contracts. And so I was just like, you know, like, wow, like, you know, you kind of ask yourself, is that why it's preset to 10 like that? I never, I never really cared what it was set to because some cases I had to buy less and then some cases I bought more because I, I wanted more, but um, they, they preset it to 10. And if you just start doing a number at a hundred dollars, you can collect $4,000 a month. And that, and that should be, Anybody that going to play right now, that you, I mean, for a $16,000 investment, I just showed you the home versus uh, options um, document. You can clearly have some, some success by just sticking to the basics. Don't get too, don't get too fancy with it. Some of these companies don't deserve your money. They pay those dividends, they pay those premiums and I get it. Like you, it's human nature. Once you know you can hit that button and collect that, you hitting the button. Like, don't don't get it wrong. Like the button getting hit. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like it just get all your get all your your things together. Like your you know your your institutional value, your uh, implied volatility. Just make smarter, wiser choices. But could you could you take thirty five thousand and make four grand a, a month? Absolutely. Would you would you buy a thirty five thousand dollar house? Absolutely, you would. Mm -hmm. So it's like, don't be afraid to do one and not the other, because you are you clearly and say, hey, I'm I'm into real estate. I invest in real estate, but you'll clearly go buy a thirty five thousand dollar house, you know, with the with the hopes of maybe renting it or you know doubling up your money. You can do the same thing here, and like um. So Sabrina, do the math for me on. If you did, if you did a thirty-five thousand dollar investment, and you collected four thousand dollars a month, how long will it take for you to 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 turn thirty-five thousand into thirty-five thousand? Four thousand a month, you say? Yep. That's like eight months, nine months. I did off the top of my head. That's nine months. Thirty-six. Nine months. Thirty-six. Yeah. Right. So I will tell you. I'm probably about the only one person on this call that's that patient. <laughs> I'm I'm that patient because I'm just collecting money. I'm not I'm not overthinking this. Like I'm not trying I'm not trying to I'm not trying to say oh well I can do six thousand this month if I just do all this and then and then you get trapped into a company where your money is tied up and then you can just stay you can just stay to the facts get you ten contracts and as long as as long as you can get $100 uh, a week off of it, and that most most of these change, right? So let's look at Disney as an example. Can everybody see, hold on. Oh, it 
must still be up. Where is you at? What, 29.5? Can everybody see that? Is it? Oh, hold on. All right. Okay, there it is. Mm -hmm. So, check check out Disney. As as an example, you got one seventy five, one thirty three, ninety nine. All we all you looking to all you looking to do is get a hundred bucks. But if you can get more, then get more. And 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 I want I want everybody to notice this too. When the call side numbers are almost equivalent to the put side numbers, these these are safe. These these are these are these are safe bets. I'm gonna show you something that's lopsided. Wow. So you see, you see how lopsided this is? Mm -hmm. Now this this is UAL. On the call side, they don't have any number out there that's 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 at the money for a hundred dollars. And on the put side, they hit you up they hit you up even more by going a dollar down, almost cutting this one in half. But. The goal is to just try to collect, you know, the hundred dollars if you can, and if you you can find companies out there that's on the S and P five hundred where you can collect that hundred dollars. But but UAL is a good safe play. Let me see. Let me see what DAL. Anybody got DAL? Yep, in this case, a hundred, I mean a thousand shares will cost you thirty-one thousand. But roughly, if you look at this in comparison, it's ten dollars away. But in comparison, these are it's it's like as soon as we buy the stock, right? We get stuck down here. Yeah. And once we get stuck right there, that's when we we ready to run and get out. For for me, I'll just still collect. Like I'll collect what I can get. So I don't it's, if you stick to the money management piece of it, then you you won't you won't you won't run as much. You won't make a lot of moves. You'll just stay you know stay kosher. I have um, um, I do have a thousand shares of workhorse. Um, I'm gonna see if I can show you this. I wonder if it'll let me do it though. Oh crap, I already had it open. Hold on. Do -do -do. Come on. All right, can everybody see this? Hold on. All right. Can everybody see this? Mm -hmm. All right. So following yeah. that following that 10 rule, right? All I'm trying to do, and I'm and I'm only doing this workhorse uh in support of Tony, because I believe in his uh his studying, like Tony will study some all the way down to the to the periods and, and, and all that. And I like that about him. But no, I, no, I don't, man. 
Oh yeah, you do. Hey, <laughs> hey, you made it on. What you? In a, you got a new truck? No, no, no. I uh, was. Uh, I'm on the road now. Headed back home. Uh, Oh, he broke up. He broke up. All right. Well, when Tony when Tony come back, I will talk with him. But could anybody see this right here? Yes. So ten twelve, which was Monday, I went in, and I sold ten contracts, but I got it at the one fifty five, and I collected the one thousand five forty three ten. Now, my whole goal is I'm going to keep workhorse until 2022. I don't care what happened to it. I'm going to keep it. I ain't running from it. I'm going to stick with it, and I'm going I'm to I'm 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 stick to my guns. I am going to collect at least anywhere from 80 to 125 every week until workhorse goes away. If workhorse, if workhorse don't go away, then I'll just stick with it. Like, I'm going to keep these 1,000 shares until I can't keep them no more. And my whole goal is, for the sake of the team, is I'm going to take the $29,000 that I spent, I mean the $26,000 that I spent, and I am going to double it. Mm. And when I double it, I'm going to send, and matter of fact, every week, I'll just say, hey, I'll show you. I added what I what my added amount is. I sent Gerald a spreadsheet. Um, well, I texted it to him. It was just a calendar of what everything I wrote down. Part of this, part of your success is going to be staying organized as well. Um, these are things, right? I'm gonna take this twenty twenty six thousand that I spent on this workhorse, and right now my cost advantage is already. It's not even twenty six thousand no more. My cost, my cost, my cost basis has already changed significantly, and it's gonna. And then once these shares get put to me, and workhorse stay at twenty two, which is at now, I got it at twenty six. Then guess what I'm gonna do? Go on the call side. I'm gonna go on the call side, absolutely. And but I've I've been watching it, uh, with with Tony, and when I go on the call side. The volatility, we just looked at it crazy high. We can't see. I'm not uh, sharing. Hold on. Oh, hold on. All righty. Okay. All right, everybody see that? Yes. yes. Yep. So this is uh this is eight days out. So the share is more than likely to get put to me. No biggie. But next week, I'm kind of still looking good. So even that, so this is a 23 strike, paying 23.5, paying me 110. Now I know what my cost basis is. Let me change this to uh, what's your strike? 26. 26. I got a 28.5. 28 28.5. <coughs> Uh, all right, that's uh, eight days to expiration. So it don't bother me, even if I come down here and just get to 65, but that's 65 times 10. I'm going to just collect $650. Even if I collect the six, even if I collect $65 off of this for the rest of my life, that wouldn't have been a bad deal. $650. That's 650 times four. Even if, and that's on the low end, right? I can get aggressive. I can get aggressive and, and jump all the way back up here and, and, you know, get beside myself, but I, there's no need to. There's no need for me to give them these shares back at all. Not, not, not until they stop paying me. Until, the, until it start looking like this. But by the time it start looking like this, I already be done made the twenty six thousand dollars back. So I and I and I ain't I ain't trying to be greedy. I'll just stay. I I can grab. I can do fifty five a, a week. Cause a twenty. I look at it like a twenty six thousand dollar house. There's somebody living in that's paying me twenty two hundred bucks a month for. Does that make sense to anybody? Yes. Mm -hmm. Same thing with play. 
take sixteen thousand dollars, I'll collect forty dollars a week off of it. As long as I got ten of them, where I can get four hundred dollars, I'm gonna collect that until they until they double me my money. And then once they start looking like this, then I'll set them jokers right here for them. Come get them. I'll put them right there at their door. But that's after I collect my twenty six thousand. Who knows? Workhorse may go into the forty and fifty dollar range. But if it does that, guess what I just did too? I just doubled my money anyway. But I'm going to stay back. I'm going to stay right out here. I'll collect that $45 or the $40. $400 a week just to hit the button. Not a bad, not a bad job. Anybody got any questions about that? No. So, Angela, what, what are you involved in, if you don't mind uh, me asking? Oh, Lord, I have Workhorse, I have okay. Pfizer, I have Moderna, I have Apple, and I have Tesla, and I have Helion. Son of a... And I want okay. to get rid of... Get I have that name in a while. I know. Let's see. Let's see Helion. All right. That's a sore subject. That's a sore subject for me. <laughs> uh, why is that? Helion gonna be fine. Because I had Shell, and when they merged, my the the numbers went crazy. They're so low. It's like, give me my money back. Oh wow! Oh. Now look at them. It's gonna it's gonna be all right though. Gonna be yeah. It's gonna be all right. Oh yeah. yeah. Just hang in there. I'm hanging, but Lord, I could be, like he said, I could just go on and get me 10 shares or something else. Check out yeah. what they say. Hey, I can't do nothing now. I ain't got no money. <laughs> you, hey, hey, Angela, you can, you can always play like a little rat. Get close. Get your little crumb and back up. Just don't get oh, no. trap. Well, that's what I've been doing with... Um, Workhorse is just what he was saying. I just, cause I got my workhorse came in at nineteen, and I just been playing it. I played it back cause I don't want nobody to take it, and I went out to, I think October thirtieth. Yeah. And grab and grab two hundred dollars the other day when it was up. <laughs> yeah, highly on it's a it's a buying opportunity at twenty nine dollars now. A lot of people are buying now. Yeah. It's so. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah, I'm just holding on to it. Really just being still. It's, it's really kind of a long play. I was looking at some videos today. A lot of people excited about what happened today. There's some sentiment. And, and the guy was saying, basically, man, in, in 2021, it's, it's going to be a $100 stock. Easy. Good. It's ground yeah. a, lot of, a lot of kids are, are playing now. It's emotion. You know. Um, yeah, Robin Hood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And guys, I got to take my head off to all y'all. This is about the most turbulent I've ever had to deal with any of this stuff. You all came in at a very crazy time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's unprecedented. Yep. And 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 when you all wrote and when this thing normals out and it levels out, look out. If you like I, I believe in workhorse, I believe in Helion. I, I wanted to get in. I, you know, I kind of wouldn't. I kind of went against my my uh, beliefs, and when I stepped out, but I I, I wanted to do it with a plan. I didn't just want to <laughs> do it just to do it. So I got a plan, and my plan is if if I can just get two thousand a month off of it, that's what I'll do. I'm comfortable with with it being at you know forty dollars or fifty dollars. But as long as I got ten of them, then I'm then I'm fine. But it's just like. In my mind, I had to put my house versus options in play, and I still do it every week because I'm like, I'm not scared to lose it because I've lost a house before. You know what I mean? I'm not scared. I'm not scared about it because I've done I've done my homework on it. So it's not like Apple's not going anywhere, Boeing's not going anywhere, Disney, like these are just staples that we can go on and on and on, like. And I highly suggest that you find something, at least have one good stock off the dial. Um, 
a, a good, just a good solid company. It, and, and so please understand this too, right? So when you're scared about the moves that you make, but you don't care what your 401k doing, that's the right hand lying to the, the left. Because if you run in, if you running from the moves you making and you ain't withdrew all your damn money from your 401k <laughs> to job, you know, you might want to put your computer down. <laughs> Because you are invested in them same companies you running from. That's so if you get that in your mind, then, hey, I don't have to run. Because if I'm going to run from over here, I need to go right. get it. I got to yeah, go right. get my other children out there. Oh, right. Yeah, because yeah, you, yeah. you, you, you invested. You just don't. It's like out of sight, out of mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when Boeing go down to $90 again, so did your 401k. It go right with it. Oh, my. That's true. Yeah. So if you get your mind together and get back to the basics, baby steps. I remember the first trade Gerald and Jeanette did. It was play. When they saw, oh, this is easy, they were hooked, as they should be. But then when the volatility came, everybody kind of went, woo, they pay, look at the premium, woo, look at the woo, and then Bam, then total bump off the car. And it's, it's completely normal though. Like that's the crazy part. You you be thinking something must be wrong with me. Nope. It's like, man, you 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 realize and you have the skill set now to just go out and do it. It's so easy. It's so easy to hit the button. But just get back to the just get back to the basics. Understand. If you have a 401k, it's your job. That money is not being pulled in or out of that fund. That is in there until you turn whatever age. So if you got those investments, don't run and give away your money. Just stick to your guns. You know, make sure you make wiser choices. And it's it's kind of like uh, you know, being in a at halftime, Gerald. You can you can you can contest this when you go in at halftime. You got to come back out with a better plan than you did, you know, when you went in, even if you win it. Because if you're winning, you got to say, how do we keep the lead? If I'm losing, I got to say, how do I take the lead? So like <laughs> you could you could understand that these contracts are just like planting seeds. You have to let them grow. You can't panic because the stock go down four dollars or five dollars. Cause if you're gonna take if you're gonna take an L here, you know that you're taking an L in your 401k too, but it's just out of sight, out of mind, and you have no control over that like you do with your own. So just make some wiser investments, some better choices, and try to get your 10 or something. Just get back to normal, try to get your 10 or something, and try to get you know 70, 80, 90, 100 dollars. Well, oh, and, and and in some cases, we all know when those when you get close to those earnings reports, those hundred dollar prices turn into two hundred dollar prices. So at least four times a year, you're gonna be able to do some some real good. You're gonna have some real good months. I can honestly say, since I moved my four hundred one my uh four hundred one k over to the TD IRA, that I have made more money. Than yes, my four hundred one k. Yeah, me too. Me too, Jeanette. Yeah, because you can do it. You can do it. You just gotta, you just gotta out don't outsmart yourself, right? We can't all invest in every electric company that come out because some of them not gonna, some of them not gonna prosper. Uh pharmaceuticals for me only go up if they coming out with something like a new diabetes drug, a cure, a cure right. for something, or so they they kind of just you know level until something happens. And then they, you know, they'll go up sixteen dollars one day, and you know, level off. But just, just stay patient. I know, I know, everybody is just like, man, I, you know, you know, if you if you make seventy grand this year, that's just seventy grand you get to play with more next year. And and once you get to, you know, three or four hundred thousand dollars, which you which you will get there, then you then you you're in the twenty five thirty thousand dollars a month. Easy though, safe. Safe and easy, not not sporadic and you know all over the place, but just find you ten or something. And 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 the good part about this is right, 
the significance of the number 10 is it don't even have to all be with the same company. Just 10 contracts should bring you in. You want, you want a number in your head. If it can bring you in, say 10 contracts bring you in $800 a week and it's safe, do it. That's $3,200 you, you was not getting six months ago. Somebody else was getting it, like uh, Fidelity or uh, what was the, any, uh, any college endowment, any of them places, they, they're getting it. Uh, all the insurance companies are playing in these uh, stocks as well. But it don't have to be 10 of the same. It could just be 10, just 10 stocks, just 10, 10 contracts. Build, your, build yourself up to a 10 and, and make it work for you. Good. Okay. So next week, um, I'm just going to talk briefly about some of the same stuff, just keeping the basics in the air. But then I want to uh, talk talk over. Um, well, see if he send it to me. Hey Delos, were you able to uh, check out the warrants? Remember you had talked about warrants. You were going to talk to your buddy. Yeah, and that. I have I have the document, Tony, and uh, I have I haven't had time to to uh, look through it, but uh, he he has some, and so I was kind of mm -hmm. um, wondering how he got on the front end of those, because that's that's kind of I want I want to try to do that with 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 the uh, I'm hoping if like uh, Rivian or something like that comes out, that maybe we could get in on that. But yeah. I haven't read it yet, but I will, and I'll, I'll, I'll cover that on the call, too. Okay, yeah, I dipped in, too, and I'm trying it, too. I bought in with TRNE, the desktop metal, the merger, the SPAC, this merger, and uh, yeah, just from the YouTube videos and my research, I went ahead and, and bought a couple of warrants also at, like like I say, it was $2 at $2, so. $2, okay. Yep, because uh, I think that's kind of where like Nicola and Helion and um, Workhorse, all those warrants were at least that low when they first started, and 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 um, not sure how we how the public missed that, but I guess you know as you as your investment uh, education grow, uh, so so should your bank account. So it's it's I love I love learning about it. I know Gerald asked me this about two or three months ago. Am I still giddy when I wake up in the morning about it? And I go, is this is this giddy enough for you right here, G? <laughs> That's giddy. Hell yeah, I'm giddy. I I I can't I couldn't wait to make that move. I was looking at this the Friday before, and uh I forgot who texted that in the uh group chat. And I was like, somebody was reading my mind. And as soon as that, as soon as I could get it. I got, I jumped in and got me some because I was like, I, I got a plan for Workhorse. Mm -hmm. So, Gerald, to answer your question, man, I still giddy. I probably study more than any person on the planet. I look at, I, I mean, outside of family time, but I keep this phone with me, man. I stay organized. Like, like I carry this around. This is my clipboard. So, I always look like an inspector. But, yeah, I, uh, I try to study so I can share things that I learn. Cause I'm, you know, I still, I still, I'll take a class in a minute, even if it's something that, you know, I may feel like I know, but I just like getting different perspectives from other people. And that's why I, I hate that they, they canceled the damn money show because you all would have met a lot of, uh, a lot of people just like yourselves with a lot of good stories. And hopefully in May we can all uh, still still make that happen but uh in the meantime i am looking for something local there is uh and when i say local i mean atlanta georgia um there is a a school there that's given a free class um i don't know what part of town it may be downtown but i'll send that email out but they they give out like one free class uh the can't think of the name I at the time. Up. That one, that one we, you and me talked about. You turned me on to it. Yeah. It, um, where I tell you that was, I think it's in Marietta. Marietta. 
Yeah. Yeah, because I'm thinking if even if we even if we got together and all went to that class, they might be good. But it's it's I know it's in Georgia, so it's it it may be I think it's well worth it because I took a I took a put options class from them, but I drove to Kansas City because that was the closest one to me. But they they are a good they are a good uh, institution though, and they have a lot of they have a lot of good uh, a lot of good stuff that they're doing. But um, my word of the day or word of the week is just get you just get you the ten contracts and just and just uh, slow play it. And if and if you got the money to get twenty, do do twenty. And just and just let your money work for you. Just don't don't panic. Don't run. Do your fundamental analysis, get in some good companies. You know, I encourage you to pick, at least have one company off the dial, even if it's just Apple. And then pick out, pick out you something in the uh, S&P 500 to play in. Um, so in the S&P 500, what I, what I really like about, um, so you have, so you, you, you have stocks like Royal Caribbean, United Airlines, all the stuff that we were, uh, you have play, all those stocks are on the S&P 500. Expedia, uh, I think once all this uh, COVID is over with, uh, anybody that's got like uh, MGM Grand or any of those, uh, what was that, uh, Win, Win, sorry, not MGM, Win. Not MGM, but Win. Let me see where they are. Expedia and Win is going to take off as soon as we, as soon as they can. I promise you that. Uh, Expedia was like a hundred. Let me see. Win seventy-two. Win at seventy-two. What's the fifty-two week high for Win? It is one fifty-three forty-one. There you go, almost double. That those are big plays. Though though that's a leap. That right there, you don't want to hold. You don't want to hold all your money up in the capital. But that is definitely a leap. Win is a leap. Expedia is a leap. That that win that win figure is almost double the amount. That is a great leap to have. Uh, let me see. Uh, Expedia. I'm looking at it. Yeah, Expedia is at 91.50. It was just trading at 139.32, but nobody's booking travel. As soon as they can, Win is going up and Expedia is definitely going up. Those are two, two good, two good uh, leaps if you wanted to purchase them. Is Billy on the call? I don't think so, no. No. Okay. All right, team. Well, if don't nobody have anything, I think we can conclude the night and let you all talk strategy and We'll con we'll uh, get together next week, God willing. Good. All right. Uh, good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. See you later, Angela. Take care, everybody. All right. Adios.